stock friends and welcome to your daily stock report brought to you by qualitystocks.net where performance is as always tracked daily. I'm Kathy Rankin and for Wednesday, May 2nd, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets as well as the top movers to look out for today. So let's get started. In our headline news, after struggling to find their footing all morning and much of the afternoon on Tuesday, stocks finally garnered some of the momentum that just helped propel them to their best monthly performance since 2003. The underlying bullish momentum vaulted the Dow to another record close, finishing the first trading day in May with its eighth gain over the last 10 years. Absent a catalyst to get buying efforts back on track following a 4.9% decline in March pending home sales and a higher than expected prices paid component in today's ISM index report feeding into inflation fears, oil prices spiking to session lows late in the day gave investors something to cheer about. Crude for June delivery closed down 2%, yay, at $64.40 per barrel, amid speculation that tomorrow's weekly inventories report will show a build in crude supplies. The fact that the energy sector did not relinquish much in the way of its intraday leadership was also noteworthy. Of the eight sectors finishing higher, utilities continue to provide the safest bet for investors, unsure if the two-decade-old adage, sell in May and go away, will hold true this year, especially since there is no reason for the stock market to have rallied so strongly in April based on deteriorating fundamentals. Some more merger and acquisition activity also helped to keep sellers sidelined into the close of trading. Dow Jones and Company confirming receipt of an unsolicited $60 per share offer, or roughly $5 billion, was the day's biggest surprise. Microsoft also made news on the M&A front, and the Bellwether's 1.5% surge was an integral part of the leadership exhibited by Technology Tuesday. Shareholders applauded reports that Microsoft may make a bid for 24-7 Real Media to keep pace with similar deals made recently by Internet search engine rivals. And now for our small cap news brought to you today by Cord Blood America Incorporated. Cord Blood America, through its wholly owned subsidiary Cord Partners Incorporated, engages in the collection, testing, processing, and preservation of umbilical cord blood in the United States. This blood enables families to preserve cord blood at the birth of a child for use in future stem cell therapy, which uses live cells as therapeutic agents to treat a variety of diseases. Let's take a look at a few of the top percentage gainers from last month and highlight some that saw huge gains and were able to maintain some of or all of their momentum. Cryoport Incorporated announced that it has finalized the terms of a business alliance agreement with American Biologistics Company, an affiliate of Commodity Sourcing Group, to establish a logistics platform designed to launch the Cryoport Express one-way shipper system. The company's shares have had a great month bolstered by some nice gains last week, and the shares got a nice boost after news the company had successfully completed pilot shipments of the Cryoport Express to such destinations as Thailand and India. IDM Pharma Incorporated has filed a new drug application for Junovan for use in the treatment of patients with newly diagnosed respectable high-grade osteosarcoma. Now, osteosarcoma is a form of childhood cancer that develops in teenagers during growth spurts and accounts for about 3% of all childhood cancers. The survival rate is 60 to 65 percent for children diagnosed with osteosarcoma. The FDA has accepted the new drug application for review. IDM Pharma is a biopharmaceutical company focused on the development of innovative products that activate the immune system to treat cancer. And guess what? That's it for our newsmakers today. Stay tuned right here to Quality Stocks Daily for the latest commentary on small cap to large cap and everything in between brought to you by QualityStocks.net. And make sure you watch for that Quality Stocks Daily newsletter available each trading day through QualityStocks.net. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin. Have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow on The Daily Report. Got it.